And we're back. This is Stu Miniman, live with SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage from Dell Storage Forum. This is theCUBE, where we go to the biggest tech events, find the smartest people in the industry we can find, separate the signal from the noise. And joining me for this segment is Roger Bouchard from Brocade. First of all, Roger, first time on theCUBE, welcome. Thank you. So uh, Roger's a uh, global solution architect with Brocade, uh, been with them a dozen years and yep. based in Canada, mm -hmm. um, and uh, he's, a, he's a bit of a security expert. Uh, so we're going to spend some time uh, talking on that. That's what they say. So, so, so first of all, uh, is this your first time at Dell Storage Forum? Did you also come it last is, year? It is, actually. No, it's my first time at Dell Storage okay. Forum. It's been a great venue. Very so uh, have you had a chance to do the expo floor, any of the sessions? You know, yeah, what's I had your a session yesterday. We had a good turnout. Uh, we had I uh, had book signing as well yesterday uh, for, for my uh, second edition of my you, security you, book. Book signing, nobody told you you're supposed to be able to bring your book that's and show right. it here, you know. I <laughs> said, sure. we're, we're more the ESPN rather than that's the talk right. show, but I, you put it in, you, you I, show I'm it. I'm sure I'll get another opportunity the, for the, the title of plug. your book is? Uh, Securing Fiber Channel Fabrics. Securing Fiber Channel Fabrics, that, yes. that, that's a good easy one. You, you know the IS, what, ISBN number offhand? No, oh, I'm absolutely. So, uh, it's good. Uh, security, uh, is, you know, hot topic is uh, we, we kind of talk in, uh, in the pundit world, it seems, if you talk about cloud in general, and especially mm -hmm. in networkings, uh, you know, security and management are just the two big issues yeah. that are kind of there. So, you know, can you kind of get, give us an intro, where are we today uh, with, with, with cloud and security? Yeah, sure, uh, you know, I, I get to the opportunity to talk to hundreds of customers all over the world, uh, talking about SAN security, um, and it's kind of interesting, you know, I've seen, um, I've been at Brocade for 12 years now, almost, and uh, I've seen the evolution starting, you know, 10 years ago when I started talking about security uh, in the storage world, and most of the storage administrators, you know, you'd, you'd see their eyes kind of glaze over as you talk about security, um, and it was kind of the thing they just didn't want to talk about and hopefully not have to deal with. Uh, and on the other side, you know, they had the, the security people that um, kind of saw the sand as this black box. You know, they knew it was a network, but um, uh, didn't really understand it, so they kind of left the storage guys alone, which was perfect, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, definitely, um, as time has gone by, uh, the security teams are realizing the importance of the data that's actually in the sand. I mean, there's so much vision critical applications, so much sensitive data, whether it's uh, personally identifiable information, personal health information, or just intellectual property, uh, and they have to make sure that that data is well protected. So uh, what I've seen is kind of a shift uh, where the uh, security people are now talking to the storage people and asking them all kinds of questions. Uh, so the storage people have been reaching out to me, uh, asking me all these questions that they're being you know, bombarded with in the security team, and that really is what prompted actually the, the creation of the book, is to sort of bridge this gap between the mm -hmm. two. Uh, but interestingly now with the, the advent of cloud, uh, we see really kind of um, um, forcing of the issue uh, of the security team and network people and now the storage people. They're all kind of getting together now. Uh, and one of the, the serious issues um, that is a bit of an impediment to adoption of the cloud is security, uh, particularly the confidentiality of the data. So, you know, uh, particularly when we talk about a public cloud, you know, concern is we're going to send data over uh, across a public network. Uh, we want to make sure that data stays confidential. So um, that, that's really uh, the main concern, I think, from, from most of our customers. Okay, it's interesting, Roger. I think back to, you know, I, I started with Fiber Channel a little over a dozen years ago, mm -hmm. and you know, the, like the Brocade Silk Room 2800, here was security. Uh, you put it in a cabinet, you lock the cabinet, it has optical cabling, therefore it's very difficult yep. from a physical standpoint. You know, so what is it about kind of Fiber Channel specifically and, and storage area networks that, that makes it secure from the software standpoint, though? So, uh, you know, the, there are, uh, there is a whole element that a data center typically is in a closed area, right? So there's a physical protection, the physical boundaries in place. Um, so the, the definitely, um, the, the, the equipment is fairly secure from that perspective. Um, however, if we look at some other elements, first of all, the insiders, uh, that is probably the biggest threat in a SAN uh, today. Uh, and the insiders may not necessarily be, you know, uh, trusted employees. Uh, it could simply be, uh, you know, vendors coming in doing maintenance work. It could be contract workers or summer students that are uh, working there. Uh, but also, you know, the, the people that are actually working there can make mistakes. And, and security is not just about uh, security countermeasures, specific technology uh, countermeasures but also about procedures and making sure that you reduce the errors and, and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everybody knows that even the most secure environment, if somebody has access rights to them and they're either malicious or stupid, you know, things can go <laughs> wrong. 
absolutely. <laughs> so as, as soon as you put a human in the equation, uh, things invariably can go wrong. Absolutely. A absolutely. So, um, you know, from, from Brocade standpoint, so, you know, we followed Brocade really closely. We actually had uh, your, your CEO, Mike Clay on a, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Um, Brocade's more than just, you know, fiber channel devices these days, yes. obviously, uh, pushing the next generation 16 gig fiber channel product lines yep. out there, selling well. Um, but can you talk a little bit more to, you know, what your experience has been to kind of the broader uh, Brocade portfolio? Yeah, so, so definitely um, the new introduction of the new technology um, has really been designed to uh, enable uh, this whole cloud model, really. That, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, so there's a lot of things in the new um, generation technology that we've introduced. So not only do we have twice the bandwidth of 16 gigabit per second, uh, which uh, in itself is a huge enabler of uh, virtualization. <laughs> virtualization technology, um, but uh, we've also introduced features like uh, encryption and uh, compression ca capabilities within the ASIC uh, that allows you again to secure, uh, for example, ISLs between two data centers when you're replicating data. Uh, we also added some diagnostic features uh, that allow you to simplify the management of, uh, of a cloud infrastructure. So really, with a cloud infrastructure, it's, a, it's kind of a game changer, uh, but we have to have uh, certain flexibility uh, so this whole concept of, of port on demand that we have allows you to grow your, your fabric uh, as you require uh, it to grow. Uh, also, if you know this huge infrastructure, if it's not simple to manage, uh, it's just going to cost you a lot more money. And one of the reasons we're doing cloud is to save money. Uh, so uh, all these additional management features that we're putting into place is really done to simplify that management so you can do more with less and not have to have uh, more people to, to manage this infrastructure. And of course, the last part I think is very important is the reliability. Um, so moving to sort of a, a cloud infrastructure, you know, is not going to be successful unless you can have the guaranteed reliability level you had with the previous model. Uh, so that's one of the things that Brocade has been really well known for, uh, to have very strongly uh, reliable equipment um, uh, and infrastructure. Okay, uh, so c can you speak a little bit to kind of the Brocade-Dell relationship? You know, what's going on? What are you talking about at the show this week from, from sure. a relationship standpoint? Sure, absolutely. So the, 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 our, I think our architecture, our model, uh, lends itself very well to the compellent architecture, which is you know the fluid architecture model, and the whole idea of us kind of scaling uh, out and, and the scaling up um, as uh, the business requirements will fluctuate over a period of time. Uh, and our architecture is the same thing. So uh, every one of the brocade fiber channel switch comes into multiple flavors. So we have the entry level version, uh, which is a nice entry point for, for most of our customers. And then w when you reach the, uh, the, you know, the capacity that you have purchased, you can easily with a license get a new uh, upgrade and get more physical ports in your switch. And of course, when you've filled out your switches, you can just simply add more switches into your environment and grow uh, really to any size uh, fabric that you need. So we have customers you know, with thousands and thousands of ports uh, in, in single fabrics. So I think our, our architecture is very flexible as well, um, which uh, goes very well with the whole com compellent um, fluid architecture model. Great, so, so what, one of the big discussion points in the, in the storage world, and especially at this show, has been flash, SSD, um, mm -hmm. and uh, th there's the discussion of kind of latency and, uh, and, and closeness. So, you know, fiber channel's always been a relatively low latency. Yes. Um, you know, protocol, uh, obviously not as close, as, uh, not as low latency as putting it on the server bus, but, mm -hmm. you know, what, what's Brocade's thoughts on the whole flash discussion? So that's a great question, actually. We um, uh, actually did some testing, and, and I think, uh, this whole latency issue certainly has been uh, very prevalent in the industry lately. Uh, but uh, we've done some testing uh, with uh, the SSD uh, and actually we're able to pull out a million IOPS um, uh, with our switches, uh, which is tremendous. Uh, it's, it's unprecedented. So, so you're saying pass through from between the storage going yeah. through your fiber channel switches up exactly. to the server. So, uh, you know, the SSD is great and, and very high performance, but if you can't feed it and get the data, pull the data out as fast, uh, you know, as it can come in and, and, and the SSD can handle it, uh, then you're still back to square one, sort of. Uh, so we've kind of eliminated that bottleneck uh, with the 16 gig technology. Um, so we can really get some very high IOPS and then ultimately, 
you know, with the application, I think that's what's important is to have those high IOPS uh, for the application performance. Okay, so we, we can't talk about fiber channel in general with, you know, what, what, what's your take on just kind of the macro uh, this discussion of fiber channel, you know, 16 gigs out there. Um, it, it doesn't seem to get as much talk in the industry. We're all talking about flattening your ethernet <coughs> networks and converging. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm on the record as saying that, you know, the fiber channel business, you know, has many strong years ahead of it and there's mm -hmm. many applications that uh, you know uh, can use it quite well. Uh, on the other hand, unstructured environments, file and object, um, which typically aren't running on fiber channel, you know, are, are where the growth is in the industry. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where where is the fiber channel industry? Well, all I can say, um, I, I certainly have heard these, um, uh, you know, the, the hype in the market uh, of, of where things are going, and certainly Brocade is positioned in that market as well. Uh, we're looking at that and at, at other technologies, so we're well positioned for that, but we really haven't seen much of a, a market growth in that area at this point in time. In fact, the fiber channel uh, growth has been tremendous. Uh, you know, year over year, we've had a 7% growth last year. Um, Q4 of last year, we, uh, we actually uh, crossed the $500 million uh, fiber channel sales in a single quarter. Uh, and we actually had last quarter record sales uh, on the fiber channel space. So really, uh, we're not seeing any kind of um, uh, trends that, that suggest that fiber channel is, is going away anytime soon. Mm. Uh, you know, maybe three years down the road, four years down the road, it, things will be different. Uh, but certainly, we're, we're really not seeing any indication of that at the yeah, moment. We, we actually had Dario Zamarian, who's the general manager of the networking group at Dell on early this week, and he recommitted that, you know, Brocade's an important, uh, you know, partner of theirs. Uh, of, of Dell's and uh, looking to continue on the fiber channel. So, uh, you know, Roger, uh, you, you know, any final thoughts you want to share with us or, you know, give us another plug for your book? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stu. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, the, the security, um, it certainly is a concern uh, on the cloud adoption, um, but uh, there's a lot of things that can be done about it. I think it's more of an education than anything else. Um, so a good start obviously would be my book, uh, which really is designed again to bridge the gap between the security folks and the storage folks. Uh, so it's kind of a good starting point. Um, but I don't think it's, it should be a deterrent. I think there are a lot of solutions out there that, and, and, and uh, countermeasures that we can use to sort of address these concerns. Uh, but it's really a question of, uh, of knowing about it and getting the warm and fuzzy that this is good. All right, well, Roger Bouchard, we always love hang, having authors come on theCUBE. Uh, we'd like to find you know, the tech athletes out there that are on the ground uh, you know, talking about the, the, the latest technologies and, and where the industry is going. So this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org, and we'll be right back with SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage from Dell Storage Forum right after this break.